So my favorite place to do magic um, is uh, in an elevator, because you're stuck, right? There's a weird psychology in it. You ever notice that in an elevator? People can be talking, talking, jabbering. As soon as you get in that elevator and those doors close, everybody stops talking, right? It's a perfect place to mess with people. I use a couple things, because it is a fun place to mess with people. You can't go anywhere. So you get some of these teeth, right? That gives you a whole different look, don't it? Right? One little thing can make such a difference in your appearance. And what I'll do is I'll get in the elevator and I'll stand in front of the buttons. So like when people get in, they can't push the button for their floor because I'm standing, you know, you can't talk normal with these teeth in your mouth, all right? They get in the way, but if you talk in a Southern drawl, it comes out real natural, don't it? <laughs> that explains a lot, don't you think? <laughs> They don't have an accent in the South. They just got crappy teeth. <laughs> I'm glad you laughed at that, because I did a show in Mississippi. Nobody laughed at that. I didn't think that was funny at all. So I'll have this hidden in my hand, and I'll have it all wound up before I get in there. So I'll block all the buttons. After the door's closed, I reach over, and I push the button for the very top floor of the building. You get this. Ooh. Damn, what floor are you going to? You push a button. <laughs> Nobody's going to touch nothing. We're all going to ride all the way to the top together. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> That's good fun. That is good fun right there. These are fun, guys. You go to a sporting event, you know, halftime comes, there's like 50 million guys all in there peeing at the same time, right? And you just step away from the urinal to zip up your pants. I won't do that in San Francisco again. <laughs> Everybody wants to be your friend. <laughs> All right, so here's one of my favorites, so I'll do this. I don't even smoke, but I always take a pack of cigarettes with me if I'm just in case I'm gonna be in an elevator because people are so uptight about cigarette smoke anymore, so I'll do this in an elevator just to mess with people. I'll get out a pack of cigarettes, I'll take out one cigarette. Then I'll start looking for a lighter, like I'm gonna smoke it right then, right there, right there in the elevator. People give you the dirtiest looks. <laughs> There's always one lady, always one lady. She'll speak up for everyone else in the elevator. She'll say, sir, 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 excuse me. You can't smoke that in here. And I'll do this. Fine, then I won't smoke it. Huh? That's an elevator ride. They'll never forget, will they? Huh? They'll tell children and grandchildren about the guy that snorted the cigarette up his nose in the elevator, right? I'm just giving them stories to tell. That's my job, right? Isn't it? Just to go. I know, now you're all looking at me like, what the?